If you've played Steam games, you'll know that most of the good games on Steam are paid. Means you need money to play that game. Steam has over 73,000 games to play. If you play one new game every day, it would take 200 years to try every game. And there are more than 50 new games are added to Steam every day. And here are some of the most amazing Steam games and they're all free to play. The last one is my most favorite game overall. The first one is probably the best car game you can play for free and it's called Asphalt 9 Legends. A thrilling racing game that was developed by Gameloft Barcelona. Since its release on 2018, it became a major hit in the Asphalt series. You get to experience the thrill of driving real cars from some of the most famous car manufacturers in the world, such as Ferrari, Porsche, Lamborghini, and W Motors. You can race and perform stunts in dynamic real-life locations in both single and multiplayer modes. The game boasts a collection of over 200 high-speed motor machines from world-renowned car brands. Each vehicle is customizable, allowing you to change its body paint, rims, wheels, and even apply different-looking body parts. The game offers both auto and manual racing controls. I personally play manual, it just feels more controllable. So far it's my all-time favorite racing game in terms of fun. You can level up your skills and race through the streets like a pro with precise manual controls. If you prefer to cruise, the game's touch drive is a driving control system that streamlines car steering, allowing you to focus on decision-making and timing. If you're a fan of high-speed racing games with stunning graphics and a wide range of cars to choose from, if you still didn't know about this game, you've just found a gem. And yeah, it's a pay-to-win game, kind of. The size is also less than 10 gigabytes and it's also available on Microsoft Store and you don't need high-end PC either. Like GT 1030 is enough. The second one in the list is called The Complex, Found Footage. This game was released on 2022. The good thing is that it has some of the most realistic simulation where the world is viewed through a VHS camera. The game immerses you into a liminal world of the backrooms, yet it's a backrooms game. Where you uncover a mysterious story and wander through dreamlike structures. But be warned, there might be something following you. Now the gameplay involves traversing and exploring a huge, unforgiving, and mysterious world. You'll have to deal with an unrecognizable entity. What makes this game unique is not only graphics, but its own story and is not connected with any previously established Backrooms lore. If you're into games with a mysterious storyline and enjoy exploring vast worlds, this game is a must-try for you. You do need a very good GPU. Because it runs at 30 FPS on my 1070 graphics card. But after all it has very relatable liminal spaces similar to a VHS camera as I said. The size of this game is also very small compared to most of the liminal space or backrooms games. Wick is around 3 gigabytes. Moving on to the next game, we have Maurice in the Predator's Nest. This is a first-person horror survival game where the line between prey and predator blurs in the enveloping darkness. The game was released in 2022. You can either play as a cunning survivor or a fearsome predator in a dark, treacherous world. As a survivor, you're plunged into darkness with nothing but your wits and essential survival tools. Each decision, from the paths you choose to the alliances you form, could mean the difference between life and death. Stealth, strategy, and teamwork are your best assets as you navigate through an environment where anything could be lurking in the shadows. On the other hand, if you choose to play as a predator, you can embody the terror that stalks the night. Each predator is equipped with unique abilities that make the hunt exhilarating. Your powers allow you to track, trap, and outmaneuver your prey with chilling precision. The environment is your domain, a place where you can exploit the shadows to your advantage. So, if you're into horror survival games and enjoy the thrill of the hunt, this game is surely for you. Moving on. The fourth game in our list is Iron Sight. It's a free-to-play multiplayer FPS game. It was released in 2019. Iron Sight is set in a dystopian future where two warring factions, the North Atlantic Federation and the Energy Development Enterprise Network, are engaged in relentless warfare over the planet's last remaining natural resource, Trinitium. In Iron Sight, you will experience intense online battles. The game features more than 50 kinds of original weapons with customization options. You can use peripheral objects, tactical drones, and active objects to experience dynamic warfare. The game offers various customization and community options. You can find your own unique military look by customizing your character with various cosmetic options, including a robot developed by a military company. You can also leave a lasting impact on your enemies by standing out with your unique appearance and emotes. Ironsight also offers ranked and clan matches. You can work together with your team to experience a tense competitive match. Or create a clan and enjoy a grand adventure through clan matches. 
Fifth game on the list is the finals. This is a free-to-play, combat-centered game show that was released on 2023. This is the game where you join the world-famous, combat-centered game show where you fight alongside your teammates in virtual arenas that you can alter, exploit, and even destroy. You can build your own playstyle in this FPS game to win escalating tournaments and lasting fame. The game itself is also pretty realistic and yes, you don't need an RTX card unless you got a 4K gaming monitor. Whether it's sneaking up on enemy squads with a katana in hand or ripping an entire building out from under their feet with explosives, the finals lets you make the call. With different skills across body builds and a wide array of weapons and gadgets, you'll have all the tools to make your playstyle your own. The world is your weapon and enemy. A skilled contender might go in guns blazing, but with environmental destruction in your arsenal, that's just the start of what you can wield against your foes. All of the arenas can be altered, used, or reduced to rubble, and not just by you. The game offers various customization and community options. You can gather fans and fame as you craft a unique avatar with the help of generous sponsors and dazzling customization options. You can also leave a lasting impact on your enemies by standing out with your unique appearance and emotes. The last game on this list is so far the best game I've ever played in terms of fun. It's a team-based game called Overwatch 2. The game is always on an ever-evolving set in an optimistic future. Every match in Overwatch 2 is the ultimate 5v5 battlefield brawl. You can team up with friends regardless of platform and jump into the reimagined PvP. A lot of unique heroes are there with unique weapons, abilities, and everything. Whether you like to lead the charge, ambush enemies, or aid your allies, there's most likely a hero for you to counter. The game is also very future-looking and beautiful, what makes this game on the list is that it's actually fun to play, and probably the most annoying game at the same time. Currently there are around 40 heroes, the newest hero is Venture who's just came out the time I'm making this video, and it's also fun to play. The game has three different roles. Supports. Damage also called DPS, and Tanks. Tanks have more health power while DPS heroes have more damage, and support heroes have good damage but also healing, they can heal themselves and their team. So far, it's a fast-paced and quick game unlike most of the games where you don't even know how you died. You have speed and most of the characters have a lot of mobility, which ultimately makes the game fun and addictive. For reference, you can play as a scientist who has an experimental barrier to block most of the damage. Or even as a hamster in a giant ball who can roll around and slam the enemies or a character who can wall ride and help his team to speed up or heal up and so on. I hope you liked the video and found it helpful, and I will see you later.